Leo. What it be, yo? Ooh, that sound real dry. Hold on. <coughs> Let me get it together. <laughs> Leo. What it be, yo? Okay, that sound better. Okay, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on you guys it's it's Mira it is Shira it's it's Vera it is Scorpion Red Zero and I am back at it again one time for the one time yes indeed happy new year Lee yo baby we made it we made it we made it. We're feeling fine, festive, and great. Yes, indeed. We're here to find out what the energy is surrounding you for January 2021, baby. We're here to have fun. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of my babies that like, shared, and subscribe, and clicked this video. Thank you so much for subscribing and showing love to me all throughout 2020, and especially right now. Thank you so much, all right? What's going on, my dears? You already know what it is. If there's anyone that would like to book a personal pri private reading with me, if these videos resonate and you just wanna send some love to the channel, you can go ahead and check out the description box of this video or check the bio on my channel. It gives you the information to connect with me on Google Hangouts, which the only thing you need to do is email me. Use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. But the best way to connect with me, if you don't have Instagram, would be Google Hangouts. But the first option would be Instagram. Y'all go ahead and send me a message on Instagram Messenger. Make sure y'all connect with me over to Instagram because we be... <laughs> be posting the most craziest meme y'all we have a lot of fun over on my instagram so come check me out on instagram okay so listen y'all know how we always do leo we always give the father god the creator the universe you know acknowledgement and love and thanks for bringing us here today so if you wouldn't mind take a second with me by your head and you know just we can give prayer and give thanks real quick father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of leo you already know what it be with us father god we come in here determined strong feeling abundant and beautiful okay can we repeat that feeling beautiful yes god all right so father we're just here just to you know get some spiritual messages from you to just keep us on our way on our path father god we ready to take flight we trying to just you know stay above all of the bs father god and just keep pushing towards our glory because they don't know our story father god we just feel so refreshed and so renewed and no matter what's going on in the world father god we know we got our back and we know we got our own as long as you right there by our side father god so Please give us the guidance that we need to receive today, even if it's just a little self-check that we need, a little self-checkup. You know, that's what we come here for, you know, a little self-checkup. So, Father God, give us the guidance that we need to know. And if there's anything that we need to prepare ourselves for, any beautiful, beautiful blessings, you ain't got to tell us everything. But, you know, just give us a little sprinkle or something so we can know what we got to do, you know, so we can be dressed to impress, you know. <laughs> So, Father God, give us the guidance that we need today, and thank you for every single thing that you do and everything that you are, and thank you for making us a star. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, now let's get into this Leo. Let's see what it be, baby. Let's see what's going on with you. And shout out to everyone who has been um, sending love donations through the Amazon wish list. We did get a lot of new decks in December. The tail end of December that we will go up, that we will be using um, now. So this is the Edgar Allan Poe deck. So we're gonna use three cards out of this for the general energy, and it just popped out just like that. Okay, you got the chariot, the eight of swords, and the reverse. All oh, this reversal. What the, the what the going on? So the chariot in the reverse. And this is a feminine energy here, you guys. Okay. So, um, you know the chariot represents cancer. So, this is basically telling me that with this eight of swords in reverse in the sun, this is someone being let go, being freed for something. Here's the eight of swords in the reverse. It's like someone experienced a death. Someone's having to start over. They could have been incarcerated or something. Something that I want to say um, made someone grow up fast. Um, kind of took someone's innocence away in a sense. So I, I don't know if this is someone that is um, just now getting out of incarceration. May need you to come pick them up. Help them out a little bit. 
Um, it's like someone is not used to sunshine on their face. I, I don't. I, I'm getting someone is being released from jail, being released from prison, or it's either someone that doesn't go out much, that doesn't do anything, uh, like really doesn't do anything. It's like at someone sits in the house, um, really doesn't come out in the sunshine. It could be very serious, could be very rigid, um, very straight laced, kind of doesn't smile a lot. Uh, I, I kind of want to say wears depressing clothes, like I don't say like older clothes. Like if if this is like a person's personality instead of like someone like physically being released from incarceration, this is someone that I want to say keeps their self secluded a lot. That may not have a lot of friends. Um, in their mind, they could think that there's a lot of enemies on their back, but it's not. You know what I'm saying? It's just they just keep their self secluded and away from people for their own reasons. They don't like to party. They don't like to. I feel like this is someone that has some type of social anxiety or something like that, especially with their chariot being in reverse and the sun being in reverse. Um, this could be someone that's trying to step out of their shell, but just emotionally just can't seem to build up the confidence to do it and to lighten up their mind so they can have a little bit fun. Like this is someone extremely rigid that doesn't know how to like loosen up and just like express their so, like this is someone that may have um problems like vocally expressing themselves. So with that eight of swords is like they're trying to find a way to open up more and communicate instead of keeping themselves buried inside in the house and secluded it's like i'm ready to open up now but i feel like your personality with that sun being in reverse could just be you could come off like you don't have anything to smile about like you're just not happy and i feel like you need to be more approachable you need to seem more emotionally confident if you think if you want things to come your way and if you want to be able to move more confidently yourself like you have to work on your social skills your social anxiety like this is what i'm getting like someone experiencing some level of social anxiety and i see that they're trying to pick their self up and get their that get their self out of that this has something to do with incarceration it has to do with that and if there's someone that just got out of jail it could be that they have some type of social anxiety because they've been in prison so they can like um what what is what is that it's like when someone has like an incarcerated mindset or something they're they're so used to spending so many hours secluded by themselves in their jail cell with their own thoughts and stuff like that so um they may come out very hard edge like they don't play around like a very serious you know what i'm saying like they still may be institutionalized mentally there it is like you can't step on their shoe you can't look at them a certain way like very emotionally fragile they they think with that chariot in the reverse like don't trust anybody you see what i'm saying because they're still institutionalized so like that's kind of what i'm getting right here um Let's go forward. Let's go forward. Give me some cards here for Leo. Yeah, that chariot in reverse, like she's telling me, she's like, I'm trying to expose myself more. I'm too wrapped up mentally. It's like someone's scared to speak to people or something. It's like having to regenerate their confidence like that's why they're trying to get out of this like mental entrapment and like they realize that they come off a little rigid and cold and too serious it's like they want to lighten up like they want to be like this like this is what this person dreams of it's just like they just don't that's just not who they are that's just not their personality and it's like they're trying to lighten up a little bit and establish a new way of thinking a new way of being a little bit yeah, this is the five of five of space. So the five of space is basically a card of endings. 
Um, it's like someone felt stabbed in the back. Um, that has something to do with some type of past that changed your future and how you operate and you react to things now. You don't trust no fucking body um, because of certain things. Because certain letdowns, like, it's like you felt like you gave someone the knife to stab you in your back. Like, this is so, this is like a situation where you really trusted someone and someone stole something from you. Someone, like, this could be like surgery this could represent surgery too so this is like removal you know what i'm saying so like you could have had like uh oh they said a knee implant a fucking knee implant can you get a knee implant but i literally seen someone kneeing someone in the chest like so much went knock the wind out of someone and fuck someone's knee up like you kick someone that fucking hard like it could have broke the person the impact could have broke that person's rib and broke your knee like damn that's kicking someone hard as fuck in the goddamn chest but it's like i don't think i don't even know if someone could literally kick someone that hard the way i seen it in my brain but it's like and y'all are saying this, this person meant to do that. They meant to do it that way. It's like they intentionally like tried to hurt me. And it's like y'all never forget that. And it's like that's why you're so cold. You don't trust nobody because of what someone did to, did to you. And I want to say this could have been your best friend or somebody that. I don't even think that this has anything to do with. Um, it says it was night. And the rain fell, and falling it was rain, but having fallen it was blood. So this has something to do with family blood. It was night, and the rain fell, and the falling it was rain. But having fallen, it was blood. Yes. And again, it's like someone being cut, someone being stabbed, like... Someone being stabbed in the heart, stabbed in the back, manipulated, used, treason, treachery, being deceived, the four spades. This is a card of like mental health, someone needing to take a break, probably needing to receive some type of advice from like a psychologist or uh it's like you may be fighting depression or um they're saying fighting schizophrenia like there could be something a medical bloodline uh of like mental health and schizophrenia or something it's just like i'm, I'm really getting someone that always feels like people are out to get them or Someone's doing something wrong to him. Like someone that can have extreme highs and extreme lows. Like you could be happy for a long time, but then it'll hit you and then you'll just be like, it's like, it's like bipolar depression with a mild case of schizophrenia. It's like, you'll have these moments where it's like you're fucking manic and like you're really thinking like, but it has to be triggered by something. It's not like, you're not naturally that way. But I do feel like this is someone that's suffering some, from some type of depression and mental health. It's like you can't pull it out of you to be happy sometimes, you know. And again, um, this is someone feels like someone hurt them. And it could, it could be just tainted. I want to say it could be tainted blood, bruh. I don't even... I don't want to say I necessarily think that it's that someone did something to them. I feel like it's someone's tainted blood. Like, this could be a hereditary disease that I feel like someone is not addressing. And it's like you're not going outside. You're not living life. You're not happy for long periods of time. And then you can feel and take certain things that people say or certain things that people do as an attack or look at it. It, it could just be perceived the wrong way because there's some type of mental health issue because it's like, um, it's like you're, they're saying manic, manic, de, manic depressant. 
stream highs and stream lows or something like that. It's like you're trying to bring yourself to come outside and be more personable and have more light around you and things. But it's a mental health issue. It's not something that's just easy like that. And um, I know this may be hard to listen to. Um, but this is serious business because there are people that really need help. And it's not that they're bad people anyway. It's clinical. So if you have someone snapping on you, this could be literally someone that you're dating. You know, either they're institutionalized mentally and you may need to get psychology for that shit too because be having a mental institutionalized mind process when you're in the free world. You know what I'm saying? Because this is someone in the free world. This is not someone. This is not someone that's incarcerated. You're not incarcerated. You know. So it's like we gotta figure out what's going on inside to get that vehicle running correctly. To get you emotionally astound and astute, so you could be more happy and confident. This is someone that lacks confidence in themselves. Knows what they want and where they want to go, but they don't know how to bring it out of them. They don't. They don't believe in their self. You know what I'm saying? But they're tired of going through this. They're not happy, you know? But there's some type of level of abuse or harm that this person experienced and they went through that has everything to do with why they operate that way. And this person needs professional help to talk to somebody. You're not crazy. It really ain't nothing wrong with you. We all come through some level of trauma. You just need to talk to someone to help you. And listen, if you need to take medications to help tweak, you know what I'm saying, so that you can have more brighter days, do what you just try it. If it don't, if you don't see the results, if you literally take this medication and you wake up in the morning and you happy and you're, you know, having better days like shit, yo, that's what those doctors are for. Don't be, especially in black America, we make it seem like, oh, we black, that's a white thing, that like black people don't go through mental health. Yes, the fuck we do, bruh. And I'm going to keep it 100. If you done spent years of doing like hard drugs, smoking boat, doing ecstasy, all this crazy cocaine, all that. I don't know. Or if you have a family lifestyle where there was like a lot of drugs and shit. And there could be some hereditary shit. Just, you just don't, you don't know. You have to take responsibility for your life, for happiness. If you feeling like you're having more down days than up days. Take responsibility. Go talk to somebody. If you need to, email me. Like literally, my girlfriend, Red Diamond, that's on my show, she's a clinical therapist. I have seen therapists. Don't ever feel like there's nothing wrong with you when you got so much love in this world that can help you hand in hand through every fucking thing so you can have every single thing that you want. If you want happy days, you going to have it. But you got to want the help for yourself. If you sit there and you tell yourself, like, it's something wrong, you embarrassed by it. You're not doing nothing but hurting yourself. If y'all need help, email me. Go to the at gmail.com. Okay? Let's see what's going on in love with my Leos. Look, you got that shark. Survival. So right now, it's not about love. It's about survival for this Leo, you know? It's like they're going through certain things right now where things are getting deep, you know what I'm saying? And Leo is an apex predator. So it's like when things are going right in their life, everything is blessed. You got the shelter and then you got the orange. So, it's like, um, okay, I don't know if someone lost their shelter, I don't know if someone's displaced or something like that, because with that shelter, 
in the reverse, that umbrella, it's like you, you feel like you're not covered. It's like you're not protected, like you're exposed or something like that. I want to say like your favorite colors could be like, like you may love Halloween and all that stuff like that. Like that may be your favorite season and stuff like that. Um, but it's like you, right now it's about survival. Right now you possibly could be lacking the shelter or the coverage that you really need to feel protected where you can be happy. It's like your mind is on something else. It's not on love. It's on survival right now. You are, like I said, enthusiastic, excited, and warm. And something about that October, November time that had something to do with this. October, November, December. October, November, December. It's like something that just happened that may have affected your shelter. Um... I want to say, oh, let me just keep going here. White, purity, innocence, safety, light. Why do I feel like, and this, this came out in a reverse. Lack of shelter and safety. Purity, innocence, light. The sun in reverse. Y'all, I don't want to say this, bruh. I want to say someone, like, experienced some type of trauma. That's all I'm going to say. Someone experienced some trauma. I don't know if this was this past. I don't know if this happened in 2020. I don't know why I feel like this happened in 2020. Mm. Okay, let him in. I'm sorry, guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. What is this about to say? Clinging in the reverse. I don't want to say this, y'all, but I really feel like... I really don't want to say this, y'all, but I feel like it's like some, after someone was like sodomized in jail they may be suffering from some type of like mental mental thing because it's like i want to say something happened to this person where they and they were in a situation where they were not protected it could have been a loss of innocence you know what i'm saying and it had something to do with them losing their freedom you know what i'm saying like it had something to do with that i want to I, I'm sorry, I really I really do feel like that. Their light, like that's why their light was taken from them. Their innocence, their safety, their purity. Like something happened. And it's like they're trying to release the shit, but it's like the thought and the memory is still clinging to them. And this person wants warmth and happiness or something, but it's like a survival of the mind. Something happened to somebody. It's like when this person was locked up, that's just like fucked up this person's confidence. It could have happened to this person when they was a child with the son in reverse. Something happened to this person. And again, they keep saying sodomy, like someone was sodomized or some shit like that. Y'all, I'm so sorry. Like, I really don't want to be reading this shit, but that's all. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry because I'm. Let me just keep going. Oh, this is making me. Oh, oh, oh. And again, it's like this could have been by somebody's family. Why am I getting like it's someone that could have been raped by like an uncle or if this is something that happened when it was a child? Like this, this person could have just came out of jail or something. It's like, why the fuck am I getting this, y'all? Why? 
Why am I getting it? All right. Ugh. What is this? The Knight of Cups in the reverse. What else is this? The Queen of Wands in the reverse. The Ten of Wands in the reverse. So this happened to a woman. The Knight of Cups in the reverse. This is someone that really is a, is a narcissist. This is someone that only thinks about herself. Um, this could be someone with some type, but not as saying some. Oh, jeez. It's saying like a fucking pedophile. It's like this person has like um like a sexual addiction or something like that, or just may have like um just a very lustful person. Just uh, I feel like likes people that they shouldn't like or something, or they can have issues with people rejecting their love advances. Like the Knight of Cups in the reverse could be someone that you can tell them no romantically that you're not interested in them and they just don't know how to take no for an answer. Like they're persistent, persistent, persistent. Like that's what I'm kind of getting with this person. The Queen of Wands in the reverse. Um, Because, again, this is like some type of love advances that someone does not want. It's like, I don't want to talk to you. I'm not interested in you, in you that way. We shouldn't be talking to each other. And, again, I, it's just like the Queen of Wands in the reverse is someone that um, they're saying promiscuity. Like, um, <sighs> again, it's like this woman has heavy burdens. And with that light bulb, it's like this person doesn't think much of herself because I want to say what happened to them in the past. It could have altered this person's way of thinking. Um, and again, I feel like this person has bouts of depression because it's like this person is trying to survive the mind. This, this person could be a very, very beautiful individual, but it's like this person is scarred on the inside because this person needs to release some burdens it's like they're having a hard time thinking about some shit and it's like this person can know that they need counseling to help them release these burdens but i want to say it's hard for them to bring their self to i want to say to go to counseling to even bring it back up to talk to a counselor about it because i feel like it's going to be they feel like they're suffering like they're going to be reliving this shit and again it's like they make it's it's like it happened in october november december the Nine of Swords, and it's saying self-sabotage and nightmares. Again, yes, this is someone that, like, again, it's like they're trying to release something that's been clinging to them. So they may be self-sabotaging certain things. They may keep their self secluded. They may come off very rigid and mean or, you know, like they're not a playful individual because... Uh, Jesus. All right, let me get some guidance from the rooms. And I got to close this out, y'all, because this is too heavy for me. It's not too heavy, but I think y'all get the message. You know what I'm saying? There's no point in me keep going on and on and on. Guys, give me guidance for the three hours. You're going to have to get help to aid to release yourself from this nightmare. Okay? So, this right here, um, Jesus Christ. So, this, wait, wait, wait. Okay. So, this right here, it means, it really means like poverty, it means hardship, um, it means discomfort, it means survival, um, but yeah, it means determination. Someone's determined to like overcome this trial in their life. Poverty, that means like someone going through a state of lack. Like I said, someone that doesn't think much, like they feel like it's like they have bad poison blood or something, like their blood line is. They're saying the sick uncle, like this fucking sick or something. It's like 
you can have some fucking perverts in your family or something. And it's like, I'm getting someone that hates their fucking family. It's like these motherfuckers is, that they sit. Um, this is a major arcana. It means the day. It means the sun. Remember the sun? Even though your sun is in reverse. I feel like these things need to be... The door needs to be open. It needs to be exposed. Not exposed by you exposing it. I mean you exposing the turmoil and the pain and the... That is doing within yourself. So you can have more happiness in your life. This means a change of direction. By your own will. This means transformation. A new day. Um, it means like newness. You know. Like a period of, of hurt. A period of, of, of uncertainty is over. Um, it means your equilibrium. It means achievement. It means a ride. So. Remember we were talking about the chariot, your chariot in reverse, like, you know, not sure where to go, not emotionally sure, you know, so this is your, this is where your momentum is picking up. This is a major arcana, so this is change that's going to happen with or without your willingness, you know, if you're not willing to kind of get yourself the help and recognize what you need. God is going to make certain things happen in your life that unfortunately is going to force that change and it's not going to come in a good way because you're fighting against your own self, self-sabotage. If you know you need to go talk to someone and get help and address this so we can get over this so we can start seeing better days, do what you need to do. The more that you keep fighting with yourself, the more pressure that God is putting on you. And you know my hashtag for 2021 is apply pressure all 2021. God not playing with you. It's unfortunate what happened to you. But that doesn't mean that you have to stay there. You don't have to stay there. Justice is you triumphing over that. You making those memories your bitch. Where it's so much blessed love and abundance and wealth in your life that you don't even remember that from what you came from it's what made you the powerful individual that you are today we're not staying inside we're going to take all that power that strength that determination that fortitude and we're going to turn this over to the flip side remember even though you may be going through some discomfort this means endurance okay endurance you're going through a hardship right now, but it means endurance. It means survival. This means you are yearning for what? A new day, the sun, balance, change directed by your own will, transformation. Okay? A period of uncertainty is over. Satisfaction. You got to take this by your own will. You know? It's about survival. It's about survival of the mind. You hear me, Leo? So, I'm going to leave y'all where it's at right there. Y'all, I love y'all. You are not your wounds. Always remember that. It's just a scar. It does not define who you are. I love you. Peace.